Oh guys, the second day now, Mayhammer, second day. I put my order in yesterday, thought it was all done, ready to go. It was being shipped from Vancouver, BC, and now there was a hold on something. So I had to go back in, redo my whole stupid order. And it's still not going through because now they got to talk to their receptions. Oh, my head's going to fall off by the end of today. We better get this order going because I want to try their freaking herbals. I want to get medicated ASAP with some different freaking stuff. And this is coming from Vancouver, B.C., so this should be interesting. Let's hit it. on the other day, you uh, probably didn't see any of this. Because there was none. That just happened over a night. It's pretty crazy in Ontario, man. Pretty crazy. Biggest worry right now, guys, ordering offline. I've only done it a couple times. This is the new companies, and they're, uh, you know, they're pretty precise about what's going on, but at the same time, they don't really uh, educate you too much on how to do things, and like, if you have never used like, it is different from the normal sites I have used in the past. So really, uh, you know, gets you a bit shaken and a bit paranoid. It all comes together eventually, but, you know, you got to take a picture of your ID and then you got to send that to the mofos and, you know, all the fun stuff. So I'm just on my way. i got to grab some lunch, take a look around, see what's up, you know, make it as fun of a day as I can. Um, but, you know, it's kind of hard with all this muck and crap. But you guys seen the other day, it wasn't anything like this. This is pretty, uh, pretty definite weirdness going on here. Let me know what you think. This would be kind of a cool tr uh, school to get into here. It's all shut down, too. But, guarded heavily by security. I've seen a bunch of cops here the other day, probably for the same reason I was thinking, but look. And of course, that. Guys, if you ever want to try something really tasty, I just seen these the other day and I grabbed them. They're awesome. Kind of like a samosa. Damn shopping. One hour later. What's up guys? I just got home. So instead of uh, saying that I have tried, because I haven't really tried this kind, I'm going to eat this kind on camera and do a quick review for you today. While I got them. They're uh, called Snack Mandu. I tried the butter chicken. They're freaking awesome. These ones are Vietnamese style bites filled with seasoned white chicken, vegetables, and a tangy tamarind sauce. So they're like little mini samosa type things, but these are Vietnamese, so they might have a chunky bite to them. We're going to find out soon, guys. 
very soon. Give me a sec. We're going to load these suckers in the oven, and then we'll be right back. thousand years later. Alright guys, here we go. Got these things all done up now. Got my drink beside me, just in case. Without further ado, this is the review of the Vietnamese mini samosa bites. Hmm. Hot. That's freaking hot, man. Freaking hot. Okay, I think I got this now. Hmm. Well, the first one was good. All right, guys. Well, you want to know my final answer to the review? What I think of the Snack Man Do Vietnamese style bites? And the answer is they are awesome. I recommend them to anybody. Buy them anywhere you can. If you see these things, buy them. They're tasty. Doesn't matter what kind of munchies you have. Taste them. Try them. Trust me. They're good. All right, guys. See you in a sec. I said see you in a sec. I said see you. Hey. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Molly. What? What do you want? You're a good girl, aren't you? Huh? Say hi. Say hi. You're a good girl. Anybody else in here? Let's see if anybody else is hanging out in here. Ringo! Dingo! Hey. Look. Say hi. Good boy. Good boy. What's it like outside? Let's check. Who's that idiot? Alright guys, well, I'm going to say goodbye for today. I just wanted to stop in, say well, hell, what's up, give me a like. I hope you've seen the uh, Haunted Cemetery walkthrough. Make sure you drop a like if you want to see us go back to the cemetery at night. Whether it's that cemetery or another cemetery, give us as many likes as you can because there's are all going to count and whether we go or not. And my fishies are doing absolutely phenomenal. I've got uh, three loaches hiding in there. They're kind of like eels type things almost but they got like a I don't know kind of like a face like his but it's a lot smaller I wish they'd come out right now so I could show you but yeah just exceptionally good this tanks doing I'm I'm very impressed with everything in here oh look at that it just looks so beautiful guys Woo! anyways guys subscribe if you're not drop a freaking like in the freaking bar below Hit me that like so I can do another ghost hunt in the dark in the cemetery with Steve and I. Maybe a new guest, who knows? But we need some thumbs up, so make sure you hit those thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. We'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. Mayhemers out.